Have you ever wished you would control your Android phone directly from your Windows 11 PC, whether it's replying to texts or managing applications without picking up your phone? Today I'll be showing you how to do it seamlessly using an application called Screen Copy, and the best part is it's completely free. Hello everyone, I'm Masai Abraham and welcome back to Winlin Mac Tutorials. If you are new here, this is your go-to channel for simplifying tech and boosting productivity. Today I'm diving into Screen Copy, a lightweight and powerful tool that lets you mirror and control your Android phone on a Windows 11 PC. This application mirrors Android devices, whether it be video or audio, connected via USB or TCP or rather an IP address and it allows the users to control the device with the keyboard and the mouse of the computer. It does not require any root access and it works on all platforms that is Linux, Windows and Mac OS. So grab your phone, your USB cable and let's get started. With screen copy you can reply to messages, open applications and even play mobile games directly on your PC. This is perfect for multitasking or creators who need to demonstrate their applications. Alternatively it can also be used as a way to record your screen. If you know how to record your Windows screen, then using this application when showcasing phone tutorials becomes even much easier. So the first step is to download the screen copy application. First we shall head over to the screen copy github page to download the latest version. Open your favorite browser. For illustration purposes I'll be using Google Chrome and then type screen copy github or use the link I've provided in the description below. Once you are on the page scroll down to the releases section and download the latest release for Windows which as of now is 3.1. Once the application has been downloaded extract the zip file to a folder on your PC. I would recommend extracting it to your desktop for easy access. Next we'll need to enable developer options on our Android device uh, so that this application can work. So to do that we shall switch to our phone. Then under our phone we shall go to the settings and scroll down to about phone. Please note that this might differ depending on the phone you are using. For example, most phones will use the settings then scroll to about phone. But if you are using a phone like the one I've used for illustration that is Oppo, you'll realize that there is a section for additional settings. But for most phones that is not the case. Therefore, just go to the settings section and scroll down to about phone. Now when you get to the about phone, you will see where it's called the build number. Uh, tap on it around seven times, then you will see a message that says you are now a developer. If you have already done this, you can skip to the next step. The next step is going back to the settings then system, then developer options. Once you are in the developer options, you need to enable or turn on the USB debugging. This will allow your phone to communicate with your PC. So note again that if you are using an OPPO to find the developer options, it is not under the system. As I've said, it is under the additional settings. So that is the slight difference. So once you've turned on the USB debugging, we are almost done. The next step now is to connect your phone to your PC using a cable. When prompted, select file transfer as the USB mode. On your phone, you might also see a pop-up asking you to allow USB debugging. Tap allow to grant permissions. So for some phones, you'll not see because maybe you've already turned debugging on. Do not worry if you don't see the allow pop-up, that is okay. Now that everything is set up, it's time to launch screen copy. Navigate back to the folder that is on your PC where you extracted the screen copy application and double click on the exe file. You will see a terminal window open up briefly and within seconds your Android phone screen should appear on your PC. That's it, you are connected and you can control your device using your PC. Here are some cool features of screen copy that you can start using right away. With this application, you are able to send text messages. For example, I'll try to send a message to my sister who as of now is asleep because I'm recording this video at around 2 a.m. Also with this application you are able to play games as you can see on your screen I have installed a bus simulation game just to show you it works. Actually what amazed me is the fact that if you have a touch screen enabled PC then you are able to control the phone using the touch haptics. For example the game you are seeing I am playing without the keyboard and the mouse since my screen is touch enabled. 
You can also see other apps like TikTok working seamlessly. I'm able to navigate through videos by pressing the escape button on my PC's keyboard. Also, you can mirror your favorite show and control it on your PC as I'm doing with Crickfy TV. I'm able to watch in full screen without any challenges. And that's just a tip of the iceberg. You can achieve many things with this application. And if you haven't tried it out, I don't know what you are still waiting for. Download it now and enjoy the hype. In case you face or encounter any difficulties setting this up on your PC, let me know in the comment section and I'll be glad to help. And there you have it with screen copy, you can take full control of your Android phone from your Windows 11 PC in just minutes. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe for more tech tips and tricks. Also let me know what other tools you'd like me to cover next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember to stay safe. Signing out. Peace.